How's it going, folks? So last night I set up uh, this hammock. You can see that video um, up in here. And um, I've had breakfast. And now I just want to have a talk about um, the, an unboxing of the Phoenix 6. So look, I'll tell you how this came about. AIA Vitality. To achieve that and to monitor that, I needed a watch um, that took my heart rate, my sleep patterns, and my steps. And I just didn't have that. Had quite a few watches over the years. The TomTom, Tom, great runner's watch, but it doesn't um, do heart rate. When I went to Nepal, gosh, 2013, uh, my wife bought me an Ultimeter watch, and that was great. But then the battery died on it, and when I went to go and get a price for the battery, it was about like $25. So I ended up buying the sports watch for $125. Also need a watch that um, is professional. I don't know if you're like me, you end up buying a whole lot of different watches and you're just looking for that watch which ticks all the boxes. What I was looking for is, first of all, is I needed a, um, a watch that can tell the time and the date. It needed to be rugged. Um, I needed it to, to accomplish my hiking uh, um, goals, which are um, a topo map, easy to read. It needed to have the ability to track the route and record it, and the ability to come um, back track in case I got lost and had to come back on the same route. Um, it needed a compass. It needed to have a, a barometer. Um, so I can tell whether or not uh, the weather is, is shifting um, while I'm out there in the bush and to help me to plan and it also needed an altimeter which I can then use in comparison with um, a topo map or the topo on the watch itself to determine exactly where I was. So, um, so it needed to be rugged, had all those features but it also needed to be um, able to be worn during the day because uh, with this, I needed to start counting my steps. I needed to um, to sleep with it, so it, it counted my sleep patterns. And you know what? Two watches that would do that. There was the, the Garmin Instinct, and there was the uh, Garmin Phoenix 6. So this is my dog, Bentley. Let's just open up the box and um, and see what you get. Now, I actually purchased this for my birthday um, way back in July, but I have literally been so busy um, that I haven't even unboxed it. So I'm really excited to finally get to unbox it. So we get a watch with this uh, casing on. I don't think we need that, but I'll keep it. It has a protection on the cover. Inside the box itself, we have um, Quite considerable instructions here. This is a super watch or a smart watch, and it has way more functions than I'm probably ever going to need. And so it has a USB cord, actually very specific to uh, the Garmin. So if you lost that, you'd probably have to pay quite a considerable amount of money to get another one. I'll have to figure out where that plugs into. Let's actually put this on for the first time. Well, oh, this is exciting. It's a little bit like, a little bit like having a birthday a second time. There you go. So it's um, it's not too bulky in terms of um price. Currently is at Noel Lemmings for six hundred and thirty nine dollars. Um. When I came across it at um, Rebel Sports, I think they were selling it for something like about twelve hundred dollars. Um, and I actually didn't realise, but they have a price match less ten percent policy, um, which I was told about. So they would not only price match it to uh, six thirty nine, but also knock another ten percent off, darling. So that actually allowed me to get this um, beautiful watch for only five hundred and seventy five dollars. So how good is that? I got it home and I did a little bit more reading and a, a YouTube up um, on a guy that um, had this, um, but he had the Gorilla 
glass. So one year later, he did a review on it and he just found that there was a few scratches on the Gorilla glass. Um, and so I took it a step further. I did a bit of a sidle hustle um, and I upgraded from uh, the Gorilla glass to the Sapphire. So that's why you can see on my box, I've got the word Sapphire. Sapphire currently retails at Noel Lemming for $1,150. So yeah, a big difference between um, $639 and $1,150. But um, look, I didn't want to be down the track a year later and have scratches over it because I'm going to be treating it quite rough and that would just simply annoy me. So I didn't mind paying a little bit of extra money to do the side hassle. Uh, from the Gorilla Glass up to the Crystal Lens, which is the Sapphire. The only other watch that came anywhere near this, and it was a very, very close uh, second, it has pretty much all the same capabilities, with the exception that uh, the display is not as um, aesthetic, It's um, the mapping system isn't um, in colour, and that was the Garmin Instinct. And um, I could have bought a Garmin Instinct Solar from Noel Lemming for around about $519. So it was a bit of a sacrifice to decide whether or not to get an Instinct with Solar, which would allow uh, the battery a lot longer, or to get uh, the Garmin 6 Pro Sapphire hardened uh, lens, um, but reduced battery life because it doesn't have the solar capability. That's my dog playing with his uh, toy life on this um, if you were not to be running it on GPS is something like 14 days and if you were to be running it on uh, GPS so that's full time uh, that dropped it down to 36 hours and it has um, a battery saving mode uh, where you turn all the other functions off other than the GPS and that can take you up to 72 or to uh, seeing me with this Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire um, on upcoming hikes. I think I'm going to have to retire my $125 sports watch, but hey, for an extra thousand dollars, you can have this puppy. So look, I think this is probably about where I'm going to um, end this video. Um, if you saw the previous one and um, where I set my hammock up and the fly up, and my camp situation up you can see that in this video here i've got an idea what i'm going to do for my next video and that is to um to go in and retrieve some rubbish that i saw on a tramp uh when i did the the dc3 uh plane crash and um, i think that's just doing the right thing by the bush so um, that will probably be uh, just an overnight and retrieving rubbish so that's the end of me. Uh, we're in lockdown here at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to think about getting back to work shortly because my annual leaves are running out. Um, so I just want to say, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell button. And you can be guaranteed to catch another Outdoorsman Dave adventure within about the next fortnight. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay kind and um, we'll keep you around.